2016 has seen me complete a job at Callaway Park in Sunshine West. We had 42 units out there that we finished up, so I was able to sort of bring that project to the finishing and completion um, and dealt with uh, clients and handovers towards the end of it. In 2016 I was most proud of uh, completing the Callaway Park project in Sunshine West from, from start to finish. Uh, some milestones this year were definitely finishing stage 7 to 10 at West Meadows, which was a, a complex site, and we, we were able to, to get close and meet program and also on budget. 2016 I've been working over in West Meadows, um, so I've been in with the apartments over there. The apartment blocks, because I'm, a, I'm still an apprentice, um, I ended up taking them over when people left, so I kind of got thrown in the deep end. Um, at the start I was very nervous about it all and that because it looked you know, a bit green, um, but I learned a lot. Winning the Naga Award at Goal, I like that one. Bottle of Fireball went down great. I got to work at Sunshine which was pretty cool. Started Cranbourne, worked in West Meadows, worked in Greenvale, worked in pretty much all the sites across Vic. Oh, the biggest highlight for me at the moment or for this year would have been finishing my diploma in environmental management. Um, between work and family, um, managed to get that done which that was really good. I've always wanted to do it. I enjoyed Callaway Park. Callaway Park was a real, like, it was not as challenging as some projects I've been on in the past. Involved in a bit of the civil works there too which was kind of the first time we'd been really involved in that. Coming on the Taylor's Walk project was probably the best outcome. 2016. I came back from maternity leave early January, um, so it was good to sort of get back stuck into it and um, get part of a new team and meet new people and just learn a different aspect of the business. Probably we just finished a project up there, so it was Newport that I worked on. And it was a really high-end um, apartment block, only 34 apartments, and, and it was my first job in Queensland to get over the line, so that was good as well. Uh, I think still being here at the end of the year, it has been, uh, like I said, a year of, of trying to find out what was going on and where things fit and who's who out there and what phrases do and the difference between a residential project and a CNI project and every one of them is different and unique. So trying to get your head around that has been the biggest challenge. The finalisation of construction and, and then settlement and handover of uh, almost 600 apartments in a two to three month period uh, in the third quarter of this year. It was really exciting to have all that come together. Helping out with the QA of getting uh, stage 41 and stage 10 and all that complete. So obviously we were putting the frames up at the start and then to be there at the end as well. It was um, good to see the job right the way through. Delivering 7010, I was pretty proud of that one. Delivered eight homes on that site. It was a very tight site on a roundabout. And um, yeah, delivered those those in under time and yeah, under budget. We had um, we had a, a massive year out of Fairwater. Total of three stages handover throughout the year, so that's around about quite honest, about 100 and, 120 odd homes. Yeah, it's becoming a great community Fairwater now. So it's there's a lot of kids going around, people out on walks with dogs and enjoying the parklands. I was looking after the delivery of stage three and five, 261 residential apartments. Um, with about um, seven retail tenancies. I'm quite proud of the fact that I've been trusted with this job and I can't wait to prove myself. So. Seeing people move in is amazing. A lot of people, they, they save their whole lives and you know this is their retirement. This is something that they've been dreaming about their whole lives and we've built it for them. But these people have worked their whole life to get to that point, to be able to buy their first home. Um, and for us to have been able to build that and deliver that to them, um, it's a very significant moment to see the smiles on their faces, yes. And see the project come from uh, bare bones to, to a completed product, so it's, it's really satisfying. Because I do meet the clients too, and they go, oh wow, and I'm going, oh yeah, my hands were, you know, had something to do with that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a little bit proud. I definitely like knowing it's like, hey, you did a thing that's given someone a place to live, like, I, I like that. And it's always nice to see the um, houses get built and you can always walk through and imagine, you know, what family's going to take this, this house over, you know, is it going to be a child, what room, what are they going to have in the room, that's just something that goes through my mind when I walk through these houses. You don't really appreciate what you're building for people, you, you sort of, it's only when it'll be finished, while we're building all you see is construction. 
And then when it's finished, you sort of see this great environment that you've created for people to live in. So, seeing the more you know, the Fairwater community grow, I think uh, now from when I started, there was barely anyone there. Now, when you drive home, when you're leaving the office, you've got kids riding around on bikes and um, you know doing the daily thing, and all the parents moving in. And I think it's great. So, seeing the community grow and seeing our work become part of someone's life is, I think, the, the biggest satisfaction in the work. I do what I do, I love it. I've been with Fraser's for the last three and a half years now and I've been a part of maybe six or seven of those buildings and um, to see how far it's come is pretty amazing. 2016 has been pretty good. I think the projects also that have been identified for 2017 are really exciting. They're looking at a project around affordable housing, so making sure that we can get new I guess customers into the marketplace at an affordable level and making sure that the space is really universal and multi-purpose living and which is kind of cool to be able to be a part of that. 2017 sees us on the project we are here on in Cranbourne at the moment. Um, we have 54 houses that uh, we need to deliver by the end of August so it's a big challenge for us. Um, we've had a lot of wet weather this year. It gives me great excitement coming to work to think I've got a job here, I've got to get this done by this time and I'm going to go about doing it. I've just finished my apprenticeship so it's a big change for me next year. I'm just um, going to be a, um, a supervisor in training. Well, I'm hoping that the Burwood project is kicked off in 2017. I'm Looking forward to that project, especially because that seems like it's going to be a big challenge. And looking forward to just continuing the role that I'm in um, and just yeah, ensuring that people go home safe at the end of every day. Handing out terraces over. So in June and May, we'll have people moving in the terraces on Taylor's Walk. 2017 will be exciting in January, the first half, because we're settling the apartments. Um, and then the new project starts, so it's starting something from scratch and, and building it into the next um, development. 2017, the, the main things for me will be uh, the early, early works and design finalisation with uh, Evanston Park and uh, some delivery of, of the sales and marketing centre and hopefully letting contracts on some early works for uh, the main town centre. Eventually take the next step and become a construction supervisor with the other boys. So. Hopefully I'll get a challenging role next year and, and thrive on that as well and do, some, do something really good for the company. 2017 is going to be a huge year. We've got a lot of handovers, there's a lot of stages running now um, and we're only ramping up so it's going to be, um, it's going to be fantastic. We've got an awesome site team now. Um, great support, great support from the office, but it's gonna, it is going to be a big year. Looking forward to another September deadline. <laughs>